Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program. And today I'd like to talk about the fabulous Jager Le Coultre Atmos Clock. And uh, these are a fantastic, fantastic clock. And they, they work on atmospheric changes. So changes in temperature. Um, they, 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 they work on... They're, they're an atmospheric clock, and uh, they're, they're, they're an amazing thing, an amazing thing. I've, uh, I've owned three in my time. Only one ever worked properly. And, um, you know, that's, that's sort of the problem with them. They're, they're a fucking pain in the ass when they're not running right. And... Um, that's 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 the only only qualm with them is that they're a bastard if they're not running right and um, I I don't know what to say really they're um they're a difficult fucker very very difficult indeed they the problem with them being an atmospheric clock watchmakers hate them because they don't really you don't see enough of them to specialize in them and. Uh, you know, I love JLC's products, but uh, it's one of these things that they're, they're a difficult bastard to get fixed. So if you can't get it fixed economically, do you really want to own the bastards? And um, I don't know. I don't know. It's one of these things there. But uh, there was a great article. Uh, I found this article on Time Zone. And um, actually, I'm not sure if it was Time Zone or Purist Pro, but. Um, Irrespective, there's a great article on these Atmos clocks, and um, I love them. They're, they're, they're really a cool thing. And there was a photo of a service center at Jagler Cultra, and uh, they had enough of these bastards queued up. And uh, you can certainly see why, because they are so difficult to get fucking serviced. They're, speci they're very specialized, and... Um, I mean, in Australia, who the fuck would know how to service a Atmos clock? You know, it's just they're a bastard, and um, it's 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 a difficult thing. It's a very difficult thing. So I don't know. It's in, they're an interesting clock. I've been I've been looking around lately. I'm 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 kind of I'm I'm uh, I'm thinking about maybe adding a, a Jager Le Coultre Atmos clock to the collection. They're a nice looking clock. I don't know. You've just got to um, you got to see how it goes and and, and um, get the right one. But um, yeah, they they're a very interesting clock. And um, I don't know. It's one of these things. You get these special things. If no bastard can fix the fucking thing, if the cost of sending it to Jagula Culture for a repair is more than what the fucking thing's worth, is it worth owning it? And um, that's that's the problem with these specialty type things. It's it's um, you pay a lot for the privilege. And uh, I love the concept of the Atmos clock. I mean, it's uh, it's defying all. You know, it, it just runs. You don't wind the bastard. It just goes on atmospheric changes. I mean, what a fucking cool idea. But they need a service. And uh, again. Send it off to Jagula Cultra, and uh, it's it's not going to be cheap, you know. But uh, it's it's one of those things. They're they're a cool thing, and uh, it's not always about the money. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you think of the Jagula Cultra Atmos clock. Oh, and if any of you fuckers own one, tell me tell me if yours fucking works. <laughs>